Hey y'all, this is Stephanie. Uh, and welcome to A Pinch of Sweet. <laughs> well today, I wanted to make something sweet. Um, and low carb. Low sugar, low carb. So, today we are going to make devil dogs. And um, I need you all to say a prayer for Michael. Uh, Michael went into the hospital, to the ER yesterday, and they ended up keeping him. They said he has, they think he either has colitis or diverticulitis. One of the two. So, um, he was having a lot of abdominal pain and stuff like that. So, uh, they ended up keeping him. So, we don't know when he's going to be home. It's going to be a couple of days. So, he has to spend today's Father's Day, and he has to spend Father's Day in the hospital so we will prepare a Father's Day uh, breakfast for him because that's what he wanted was he wanted um, sausage gravy and biscuits which is his favorite so um, we will do that when he comes home well either we'll probably do like a breakfast for dinner or something like that so um, alright so we are going to be making devil dogs I also have a new Sorry, my nose is itching, and I did not want to do it with my hands. I have a new subscriber. So, I'm going to see if I can pull it up and tell you who it is. Uh, Tracy Rosser. is my new subscriber. Let me make sure I don't have any more. No, I do not. So, welcome Tracy. And, um, let's get started. Alright, so, um, it says to use all-purpose flour. But you guys know, sometimes I use all-purpose um, for the kids. But for me and Michael, uh, when we do low-carb, I use carbolos. So, and this is what I use when I make my whoopie pies. I use this. So, um, we're going to get everything together. I forgot to get out my cocoa powder. Um, I am... I went to the doctors yesterday because remember I was telling you I was having problems with my knees and my foot swelling and everything like that. Well, they gave me this shot. I have to go back two more times to get shots in both my knees. Um, it's made a big difference. A big difference in my knees. Uh, because when I went to get the shots, I was hurting bad. Um, and I've only had one shot. I still got to get two more and, uh, the pain keeps getting less and less and less. So I'm hoping that this works. They're saying, uh, a lot of people are, the way the nurse practitioner ex explained it, he said a lot of people are getting anywhere from six months to a year. He said the longest was the person went 18 months. I'm like, wow. 18 months with uh, with uh, the three regimen shots so so I got my shots this past Friday then I go this Friday coming up and then the Friday after that which I think is the 28th of June so um, and that'll be my last set of shots so I'm hoping that I can get at least a good year out of these shots I'm hoping so and so far um, I mean I still get a little stiffness but that's it. That's that's really it. Um, and I, I'm shocked at how well. I'm I'm just shocked at how at how well it's working. So all right, this is what we're going to do. And I forgot the milk. I need the baking. I need the. Oh, and I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning mix. 
um, that will be after this one uh, because my daughter uses it whenever she's like seasoning her chicken or something like that if she's making ranch chicken or something so um, I will show you how to use that and you will use the buttermilk blend the uh, the stuff that I showed you that I use when I make my uh, ranch dressing for the kids um, you use the same thing so all right uh, I need that and I need my milk and I think I used that's what I didn't get oh yes I did it's in the pantry it's in my big pantry and I'm not allowed I'm I'm not even supposed to be on my on my legs today so <laughs> I'm not supposed to be I'm supposed to be off for two days and today's Sunday and <laughs> so all right this is what we're going to do let me get where's the shortening so we're only going to do one recipe I thought I was going to be able to do two um but I don't have enough powdered sugar to do too. Oh, and I don't have enough sugar to make. I gotta. I'm running low on everything, so. I need to get sugar. I need to get powdered sugar. My swerve powdered sugar. My swerve sugar. Um. And. Like I said, my one friend gave me that uh, Splenda uh, Baker, Magic Bakers. So I'm finishing up that. Alright, so I need... Okay, here's the recipe. Two cups all-purpose flour. A half a cup of cocoa powder. A half a teaspoon of salt. A half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, one cup vegetable shortening, one cup milk, one cup sugar, and one large egg. And then for the icing, you're going to do one cup uh, room temperature unsalted butter, but I only have salted. So, uh, work with what you got. Uh, three cups powdered sugar, one cup marshmallow fluff, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, you're going to preheat your oven to 350. You're going to get your baking sheets, your cookie sheets, and you're going to prep them with uh, parchment paper. Um, I did four baking pans, but uh, because I thought I was going to do a double recipe, um, but I also forgot they spread. So, uh, I might still need four baking pans. So, all right, we're going to get our one cup of shortening. Okay, I need this one for the milk shortening. Now I need a half a teaspoon. No. Yeah, a half a teaspoon. So I don't know if I have a half a teaspoon. Let me look. But if I have a fourth of a teaspoon, I can just use it twice. Okay, that's a fourth. That's a fourth. That's one eighth. Okay, so I have a fourth. So we're going to have to use a fourth. Does anything call for a teaspoon? Yes. All right. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I don't. I I have allergies, and my nose, like right across the bridge here, 
just wants to itch. Drive me insane. Okay, so we're going to put all of the wet ingredients together first. So we're going to do, where's our shortening? One cup shortening. got our one cup shortening in here. Okay. Now what I do is when I use something, I put it to the side so that way I don't forget that I used it and go pick it up and use it again. Um, one cup sugar. I need my other one cup which means I gotta get up. do know one thing when I get up to walk or anything it does let me know that you ain't supposed to be doing that <laughs> but you got grandkids and a, ha uh, a house and uh, a daughter that has seizures and such thing as sitting down and taking it easy. You do what you got to do. And I like this Splenda blend because it is not, it's not regular sugar and then Splenda too. It, it's not at all. And uh, the conversion chart is the same thing as like the, um, with the Swerve. One teaspoon of regular sugar is one teaspoon of Swerve. And it's the same thing with this one. One teaspoon of regular sugar, one teaspoon of Splenda Magic Blend. One cup of regular sugar is one cup of Splenda Magic Blend. It's nice. So. Okay. 
Sorry about all this, but I had to have my daughter help me get everything out because I'm not allowed to be on my feet a long time, so. She had to help me get everything out. All right, now we need a half a cup of, oh no. One cup vegetable shortening, one cup sugar, one cup milk. do what it needs to do. powder. about that, but I 
You guys can't see what I'm doing. Mm. I'm trying to get myself a half a cup of cocoa powder. We need baking soda, baking powder, and salt. Half a teaspoon. I need to use my spatula and scrape down the sides and then we're going to start adding our carbolose flour. Now, um, if you remember me telling you before, the carbolose flour is like um, bisquick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a fourth of a cup at a time till it gets to the consistency that I want it. Almost like a whoopie pie, kind of. Second one. We're at, we're at one cup now. It 
calls for two cups? I might need to do just a little bit more but not quite a fourth of a cup so what I might do is I might add a third of a cup and then we should be right where we need to be in the sink. One third of a cup put me exactly where I needed to be. Okay. So now, and then I will show you the consistency. So we did a cup and a half plus a third of a cup. And that put us exactly where we need to be. And that's with using the carbolos. The carbolos flour. That's with using that. Not the all-purpose flour. With the all-purpose flour you will end up using two full cups. See? You want it to be whoopie pie consistency. As you can see. her Genevieve. Be right back. Okay, as you guys can see, it needs to be thick like that because we're going to spread it out. Alright, when 
let me go get this in the sink and wash my hands and then we're going to get started on spreading it out on the um on the cookie sheets make sure your oven is preheated to 375 and you're going to bake these for eight minutes Okay, so now I'm going to sit this over here and we're going to scoop and spread. away. There. Over here. Okay. All right. So now we're going to spread these out. close together but um, it also says to um, keep them at least two inches apart because they will spread when they're baking These are going to make um, two, top and bottom, because then your icing is going to go. this over here and then we're going to get the next one together.
But like I said, you um, when you're using Carbolos, we did um, a couple. A cup and a half of Carbolos plus one third cup of Carbolos. And it put it at the consistency that I needed it at. Like um, like I said, like a uh, whoopie pie consistency. And you want to put them at least two inches apart because they will spread. Two. I'm only making a few This isn't going to make a whole lot. scrape down my sides because I don't want to waste none of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to split it. Let me get these in the sink and then I'm gonna come back and spread those out and wash my hands.
going to get these spread out and in the uh, in the oven. So this is going to make one, two, three, four, six. It's only going to make six. So what I may end up doing, depending on how they spread out, I may end up cutting them in half. So that way I'll get double. We'll see. It does, it does not make much at all. So I think the next time I make these, I'm going to make, I'm going to use the smaller scoop and just make them miniature. Um, Cause they're low carb, low sugar anyway. And um, The smaller you make them, the more pleasure you get out of eating more than one. <laughs> um, these are only um, one net carb each. Just one. That's good. So you could eat like two or three of them and no guilt. You want just enough to soothe your sweet tooth without going overboard. That's what I like about it. So, all right. Let me get these in the oven. They're going to go in for eight minutes. And then I'm going to clean up my dishes. And then we're going to come back and do the, uh, the, um, icing. So, let me get these in the oven. And I will see you all back when they're done. See you in a minute. All right, it's been eight minutes and uh, they're not done yet because you should be able to touch them and it should spring back up and it's not doing that. So I put them back in. So while we're waiting on those to get done, we're going to make our icing. So. Okay, so I cleaned up everything, my work area and everything. Where is, okay. Now, the icing is one cup room temperature butter. room temperature butter like I said and then it says three cups of powdered sugar one cup marshmallow fluff so I'm not going to be using a lot of marshmallow fluff because the powdered sugar I want more of the powdered sugar than I do the marshmallow fluff and vanilla extract. But I want to do the, the recipe as it says to do it. We're going to do it and see how it turns out. Um, The only thing I'm concerned about is the sugar. Oh, never mind. It's, only, it's six grams of sugar, but it's still in a two tablespoon serving. 
Wow. Six grams of sugar and two tablespoons. Wow. So maybe maybe all I'll use is two tablespoons. Or maybe use a tablespoon of icing so that way it's only I don't know. We'll see. Because what I might do is instead of using that, what I might do is I might use cream cheese instead. Do cream cheese. Or I could do shortening. Hold on. I'm going to look up something. I need to go on Pinterest. Interest right here. No, not Instagram. I hit the wrong one. <laughs> okay. Um, I got to keep an eye on this because I don't want them to burn. Uh, whoopie pie icing. something that's going to be easy that I can be in and out with it Okay, this one says one cup shortening, half a cup butter, three and a half cups of confectioner's sugar, a fourth a cup of all-purpose flour, a fourth of a cup of half and half. That's going to make a lot. Maybe not. Well, I mean, I could freeze what I have left over. Because, I mean, I have everything to do what I need. Uh, one cup shortening, half a cup butter. So I got to take one stick out. Um, and I will put it on a, put it in a, um, We're going to try this. This one is the Pennsylvania Dutch. Um, and I found it in uh, Pinterest. It's the Pennsylvania Dutch um, whoopie pie icing. So, we're going to try it. I will be right back. I got to get all the stuff out that I need. Okay, I got everything out. Um, I need this. Okay, so it says one cup shortening. Now the reason I changed my mind on the fluff is because with this being low carb, low sugar, it is no longer low carb, low sugar if I use the fluff. And 
that's defeating the whole purpose of this. So I am using Crisco to get my one cup of shortening in. Okay, All right, there's that. Then we're going to do um, now it says a fourth of a cup of all purpose flour, but we used carbolose, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the carbolose flour. You want to keep it low carb, low sugar. So here's a fourth of a cup. Okay. Okay, there's that. Fourth of a cup of that. Then we need a fourth of a cup of half and half. I don't have half and half. I have heavy whipping cream. So all you're going to do is if you need half and half, you're going to use half uh, whipping cream, half milk. And there you go. You got half a half. So. And we're going to do three cups, well, a, a tablespoon and a half of vanilla extract, but I want to get start getting this mixed up. So let me get this on here. butter and the flour and the milk and heavy cream. I need to get me some uh, clear uh, this can get mixed in. We need that butter mixed in. Alright, 
now. I happen to know that there are there's two cups in one of these. So and I have a half a cup in this one. So I'm going to add this slowly. Oops, wrong way. That would have been a, uh, a horrible, horrible mistake. And the nice thing about this is this is keto. I do like that. It's gluten-free, no, no artificial flavors or preservatives, great for baking, measures like confectioner's sugar, one-to-one, -one, and calories, absolutely zero. sides and add the other two cups I need to taste this it needs to mix more because it is still I can still taste the butter and the the shortening like little little chunks and there shouldn't be any chunks in it at all. But I'll tell you one thing. Um, it's really, it's uh, not really sweet, but um, it's getting there. So I'm not going to do the full two cups that's in this. Because this is only making six and then I'm going to cut them in half to make them 12 so there'll be enough on these sometimes uh, if you taste your food you'll know if it's too sweet or not sweet enough or if it's getting there and it's getting there I just don't want it too sweet to the point that nobody can eat it too sweet.
I want to make a fluff, but I want to make a sugar-free fluff. So, that way, when I make my uh, fruit platter, and I make my fruit dip, I can feel confident that it's going to be sugar-free. Um, hold on a minute. My daughter has some news. Because so, of my mother cooking carb low and sugar free, Mike Sugars, and he hasn't had his diabetes tested in a very long time because kids and work have been completely normal and they think he might be diabetes free. Are you kidding me? From everything that you've done. She's recording. Uh huh. had completely normal sugars. Even after eating? They will be, they're gonna be checking it soon. Okay. But so far every sugar has been normal. Thank you, Jesus. And he said that he will even though if he is diabetes free, mm -hmm. he will continue the sugar free carbo diet so that he doesn't end up diabetic again. Correct. All right. I figured you would like to know that. Yeah, I would. I did. Thank you. That makes me feel so good. Because, you know, I've been getting on him about sneaking sugars and stuff like that and eating stuff that's loaded full of sugar. Um, So, it sunk in. <laughs> Besides the fact that if I found it hit because he would hide it throughout the house, I'd find it and pitch it. <laughs> he didn't have no choice <laughs> so uh, thank you Jesus alright let me taste that let me make sure that still needs to mix a little bit more I can still taste a little the shortening and I don't know how to fix that except to let it mix a little more. our cookies our devil dogs let me see is this still no you can't taste it now because remember how I was telling you it tastes you could taste the um the uh shortening in the butter because you could still taste the uh like there were still little bits and pieces I whipped it as much as I possibly could on high and all all dissolved now so all right 
Let me mix this real quick and then we're going to get our This makes a lot of icing. All right. We're going to bring a tray down here. And I'm going to put them together, actually. I need a spoon. So now we're going to we're going to put these together and then we're going to put them in the fridge and let them stiffen up with the icing on them. And then we're going to cut them in half. Here's devil dog number one. <laughs> so. All right. Let's get the next ones done. one where the edges because I put them all in the oven at the same time and I put one on the bottom rack and the edges burned a little bit so too much icing. I don't want to do that much. This one is the ones where the edges, they look like they got a little too done. But I watched them as carefully as I possibly could. Because I was sitting, I was like right up on it. <laughs> so, 
That just means that I'm going to have to, when I make these again, pay very close attention. I mean, I, I was. That's the thing, is I was right here. I did not move. And I held off on washing my dishes until... But I was making the icing. Because I brought you guys back and I started making the icing. But that's okay. That just lets me know that I am to sit here and to wait. And to keep an eye. And don't do nothing else. I mean, I know I like to try and get things done. In a timely manner. But sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. All right. These are our devil dogs. I'm going to put these in the fridge and let these set up, and then the kids can have one later on tonight. So, this is Stephanie with a pinched sweet. Today we made devil dog cakes, and I will see you all later. Bye!